In front of me is the 4.7 inch Alcatel One Touch Idol 3 that just recently went on sale in the US for $180 off contract. If you remember a few months ago, the 5.5 inch One Touch Idol 3 went on sale and to this day, it's one of the best bang for your buck budget smartphones currently on the market. But we are all human. We all have differences. We all have preferences. We all have opinions. The more options, the better to better fit our needs. For those of you who have, you know, smaller hands, who don't like larger smartphones, and who don't have a ton of money to spend on a smartphone, the 4.7 inch One Touch Idol 3 is designed with you in mind. So enough talk, let's see what this smartphone has to offer. I'm gonna go ahead and set it off to the side for now so that we can take a look and see what's included in the box. We have a SIM card ejector tool directly underneath. There's a quick start guide in a multitude of languages. Alcatel did also include some JBL certified earphones with removable tips so that these will fit comfortable in your ears. No matter what size your ears are, they will fit, they should fit comfortably. There's also an included micro USB charging cable, of course, and a US wall wart here as well. And that's about it. So pretty simple stuff. Now let's take a look back at the 4.7 inch Idol 3 and take off all of that plastic, undress this smartphone. The plastic cover does mention some specs such as the Hi-Fi Audio 4.7 inch IPS display, LTE, and Android OS, of course. I'll cover all that stuff in detail here in a moment, but this device is pretty small compared to many other smartphones on the market nowadays, and it really is just a smaller version of the 5.5 inch One Touch Idol 3 from Alcatel. We have the power sleep on off button on the left hand side, the volume rocker on the right hand side, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top, and a micro USB charging port on the bottom. The front is home to a 5 megapixel front facing camera sensor, a 4.7 inch 720p IPS LCD display, and we do still have the dual stereo front facing JBL certified speakers. It's really nice to see that they are still very much present on this smaller device. Flipping the Idol 3 over and we will find the 13 megapixel camera sensor and flash as well as the Idol and Alcatel One Touch branding. The back cover is pretty much identical to the 5.5 inch Idol 3. It's a matted plastic back cover and it feels like a, a very, very soft sandpaper almost. The device as a whole doesn't feel like a premium smartphone. We don't have any metal around the device and the back cover is plastic, but that is really to be expected for a smartphone that costs less than $200. On the plus side, it is very lightweight and it is very thin coming in at 7.6 millimeters thick. So the 4.7 inch Idol 3 features a Snapdragon 410 quad core processor with one and a half gigabytes of RAM and either eight or 16 gigabytes of internal storage that can be expanded with a micro SD card. I can navigate the OS in a fluid manner, but when I open apps and truly start multitasking, I do start to notice things become more choppy and performance starts to slow down significantly. Geekbench 3 gives the 4.7 inch Idol 3 a single core score near 500 and a multi-core score near 1400. Alcatel does have their own custom skin on top of Android Lollipop and it's not terribly intrusive. The most radical design change is with the home screen of course, and most specifically, the app icons. However, you can always change this with a different launcher. This is Android after all. And best of all, all of the beautiful material design animations are still very much here. The slide down notification panel and the settings drawer are relatively unchanged from stock Android. Besides double tap to wake, the most convenient Alcatel software feature on the 4.7 inch One Touch Idol 3 is the reversible functionality, which allows you to answer phone calls even when the device is upside down, the software will calibrate itself accordingly and there is a mic on the bottom and top of the device. So it's pretty cool, pretty unique. I've never seen a feature like this before. The 720p display is also pretty solid. It's not terribly vibrant, nor does it get very bright, but the 1280 by 720 resolution crammed inside a 4.7 inch display size is satisfactory. It gets the job done. My favorite feature of this device still has to be the dual stereo front facing speakers. They sounded great on the 5.5 inch Idol 3 and they sound great on the 4.7 inch Idol 3. Plus they are still very loud, like they can get seriously deafening if you turn them up all the way. In my full review, I will be sure to test everything I mentioned in detail as well as the battery life and the camera performance to see if this $180 smartphone is really worth your hard earned money. If you would like to see an in-depth comparison between this device and the bigger 5.5 inch One Touch Idol 3 or the Moto G 3rd generation, let me know down below in the comments. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya!